Hello, St. Andrews, and welcome to this week's edition of Chancel Chat. It's Wednesday, the 24th of October, a beautiful fall day. The sky is blue, the temperatures are crisp and cool, and I hope to play some golf this afternoon. Uh, so I want to begin today by thanking everyone who contributed to the uh, second collection that we took at all three of the liturgies last weekend. Last weekend was Bread for the World uh, weekend, and we did a second collection. We collected almost $600, and all of those funds will be channeled through our Episcopal Relief and Development uh, World Hunger Program. So thank you for your generosity in your response to this second collection. I also want to thank those who uh, contributed to the Walk for Freedom, which was held on Saturday, last Saturday. Uh, and I'm happy to report that we reached our goal of doubling the number of walkers from last year. Last year we had three walkers, and this year we had six. And we raised almost uh, $300 uh, in this uh, effort to r raise funds and awareness for the terrible problem of human trafficking uh, in our world. Did you know that there are more slaves uh, in the world today than there has ever been in the history of the world. Uh, so it was, a, it's, it was a great event and we raised some money and we raised, certainly raised awareness about this uh, terrible problem. Uh, <clears throat> looking ahead to this weekend, it's the 23rd Sunday after the great feast of Pentecost and the gospel reading is the story of blind Bartimaeus uh, receiving his sight. And the title of my homily this week will be The Bartimaeus Effect. So we hope to see uh, many of you in church uh, this weekend. Um, I'm, unfortunately, I, I'm having to announce that the family fun night, which was scheduled uh, for Friday evening of this week, the 26th of October, has been uh, postponed, not canceled, but postponed. Uh, we were going to have a magic show and the Janney family was going to going to give a report of their mission trip to uh, Puerto Rico this past summer, but we only had one family sign up and make reservations, so we're going to postpone it. We hope to reschedule it sometime uh, before Thanksgiving, so stay tuned for that, but we will not have Family Fun Night this Friday evening uh, in the parish hall. <clears throat> Looking ahead to the month of November, it's hard to believe, but next week is the Feast of All Saints. Next Thursday is November 1st. And we will celebrate this great feast with a celebration of the Holy Eucharist at the Dobbins Chapel, as we do each year. The service will begin at 9 o'clock, and we hope that you will um, uh, plan to attend this uh, wonderful celebration of the great feast of all saints. <clears throat> On uh, Sunday, November 11th, is Veterans Day. Uh, and this year, uh, Veterans Day happens to fall on a Sunday. And this is a particularly significant uh, day because uh, this uh, November 11th marks the 100th anniversary of the signing of the armistice which ended hostilities uh, following World War I. Uh, it's also the feast of St. Martin of Tours who is the patron saint of soldiers and veterans. So we're hoping to um, have a celebration at 10 o'clock, at the 10 o'clock service. There'll be a military honor guard uh, carrying the flags representing the five branches of the armed forces. Uh, we'll have a special uh, speaker that day that will be addressing the issue of, arm, of um, veterans and, and how we honor our veterans. And so we're hoping that the church will be full on Sunday, November 11th, as we honor the members of St. Andrews who have served in the military. Um, looking ahead to Thanksgiving, uh, we are going to be hosting a community Thanksgiving uh, service on Sunday evening, the 18th of November at 7 p.m. Uh, this will be uh, sponsored by our Rancocas Valley Clergy Association, an interfaith uh, prayer service of Thanksgiving. Uh, so please uh, mark your calendar and plan to attend. And then we will also be having our traditional uh, Thanksgiving morning Eucharist uh, on uh, Thanksgiving morning at uh, 9 a.m. So um, uh, please uh, be aware of these uh, special services that will be held for Thanksgiving. Uh, Continuing our prayers this week for our parish administrator, Chris Carroll, who's recovering from surgery. 
Uh, we want to continue to pray for Mimi Phillips, who is uh, at home, but preparing for, a bi uh, not bypass, but valve replacement surgery sometime in early um, November. Uh, and we also want to continue to pray for the, uh, na our neighbors who are rebuilding their lives following Hurricane Michael, Hurricane Florence, and the uh, earthquake and tsunami in Indonesia. And this weekend will be your final opportunity to contribute to the special uh, campaign that we've been running for several weeks to raise funds to, again, channeled through our Episcopal Relief and Development uh, D Disaster Relief Fund. So uh, if you haven't already made a contribution, please do so this weekend. Uh, the Saint of the Week this week is St. James of Jerusalem. Uh, his feast day was uh, this past uh, um, Tuesday, yesterday actually, the 23rd of October. And uh, you know, there are at least three James in the, uh, in the New Testament. Uh, this is James uh, the, who was the Bishop of Jerusalem and a martyr and believed to be the brother or the half-brother or possibly the cousin of Jesus of Nazareth. And uh, it's not to be confused with James the Apostle whose feast is celebrated in July. Uh, James of Jerusalem is most famous for having presided over the so-called Council of Jerusalem you know, that uh, was deciding, making a decision about what to do with non-Jewish folks who converted to Christianity, in other words, Gentiles. And uh, he made a decision that Gentiles didn't have to first become Jews and be circumcised in order to become Christians, but uh, as long as they abstained from um, fornication and from food offered to idols, they could become Christians without becoming Jews first. And that was a tremendously significant event in the history of the Christian church. Um, and uh, James was a martyr. Uh, around the year 60 AD, sometime a little after 60 AD, he was thrown off the roof of the temple in Jerusalem uh, and uh, was uh, one of the earliest uh, Christian martyrs. Uh, so today, the, the saint of the week this week is St. James of Jerusalem, uh, brother or half-brother or cousin of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that's about all I have for today, uh, wishing you and your family a blessed day, and we hope to see you in church uh, this weekend, and we will talk again next week. God bless you.